Disturbing graffiti is popping up all over Austin with the message sparking debate online. As KXN's Matt Grant reports, it's raising questions and protests about the manner used to talk about sexual abuse. From bikes to bridges, the same message is being scrawled all over Austin. It's kind of horrifying to think that like anybody thinks that's a message that's appropriate in any circumstance. We found in at least a half dozen places across the city, graffiti and similar handwriting reading, even though I was raped, I am okay. I certainly support anyone expressing themselves in a nonviolent way. Here at Lady Bird Lake, we spot even more graffiti. Here along the trail on the banister and also here along the wall. We don't know how long this has been here, who's behind it, or what message they're trying to send. At West Campus near the University of Texas, new signs are pushing back, begging the anonymous artist to stop, saying whoever's behind this is showing zero compassion, writing, you are not empowering victims. You are just reminding people of the worst experience in their lives. You are not promoting healing. Our immediate thought is always to the to the survivor of sexual assault. Juliana Gonzalez is the senior director of sexual assault and health services with Austin Safe Alliance, a nonprofit that helps victims of abuse. She says everyone processes trauma differently, but cautions while this may be empowering and therapeutic to someone, it can be triggering to others. I think there are others who, who see this as um, perhaps justifying sexual assault, saying um, after a sexual assault, I was okay and therefore if someone is sexually assaulted, they should be okay. This all comes as the number of rape arrests in Austin are on the rise. APD made 352 rape arrests last year, up from 320 the year before. Advocates say it's an important topic, despite the controversial tactic. But I think it's really valuable for us as a community to be able to talk about it, right? It, it does bring the issue of sexual assault to light. In Austin, Matt Grant, KXAN News. And we did reach out to the person who posted the protest signs in West Campus but did not hear back. Now, the Safe Alliance encourages anyone who is a survivor of sexual violence to seek help. We do have a list of resources at KXAN.com.